All right, we're going to find the, the projection of a vector to a plane. In an earlier video, we did the projection of a vector to a line. This, is a, this has a little bit more complicated, same concept though. So we want to find the projection of, let's say, this vector k onto this plane right here. In order to do that is, we remember a project. We got to remember that a projection is like imagine shining an imaginary flashlight from up top of this vector, and it's going to shine down and make a shadow on our plane down here. And what we want to do is to find this bit right here. This is the projection right there that we're looking for. Now, ideally, what's going to happen is we would know what this line was, but we're talking about a plane this time, so we can't get it right away. So if I call this, let's say this vector here, call this vector u, we are really trying to find the projection of k onto u. And we know what this is. This is earlier. We take the dot product of k dotted with u over the magnitude of u, or the, the floor squared, times u. The problem is we don't know what u is. See, earlier we could find it because we did the, vector, the projection of a vector onto a line. So I could easily, if I'm given the line, I can get that projection. But if we don't have that line, it gets a little more tricky for us. So we're going to kind of go about solving this another way. What we do instead is we're not going to find the projection of k onto u. We're going to find the projection of k onto the normal vector. So because any, any, there's my normal vector. We'll call it n for normal. Because any normal vector is always going to be perpendicular to the plane. And we're going to use that idea. So, and this one I do know. We will know the equation of the normal vector because this comes from the equation of the plane. We'll get back to that again in a little bit. And there's also another video on that. Smash that like button. So what we're going to do instead, since I can't find this, instead we're going to look for the projection of k onto the normal vector. And that's what we're going to do here. And let's talk about why we do this. Well, I, if I know k and I do know n and I'm looking for the projection here, ready? That pro I could use vector addition to solve, whoops, addition, there we go, so I made the math. I use vector addition to solve for the projection I want. For example, because I know u plus n has to equal k and I can solve for it. U, which is the projection I do want, will equal the vector k minus my normal vector. Okay? But remember, this really isn't the normal vector. This is really the projection of k onto n. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So let's say we have a plane here. So this is my what I'm looking for eventually. Let's say we have a plane that's given by the equation x plus z equals 3. And we have vector k, which is given by 1, 1, 1. And what we want to do is we want to find the projection of k onto the plane. Now, I don't know, I got a little out of focus there. Sorry about that. So let me go and fix that real quick. So what we want to do is we want to find the projection of k onto the plane. Now again, the big problem is the plane here is being represented by u, which is unknown. So I can't go about finding it directly. If I think about vector u is the line on the plane of the projection that we're wanting, but we don't know it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find the projection of k onto our normal vector. And that's because no matter where our normal vector is, Right here, if I shine like him in this direction, that shadow length will never change. Even if I put it way over here, the if I put it here, the light coming down this way, the length of our projection for n will never change. So we can do that. And we're going to find the projection of k onto n first. And 
to do this, let's write out everything we know. Okay, to do this, we need vector k, which we know is 1, 1, 1. We also need the normal vector. Remember, the normal vector comes from the plane itself. If you know the equation of the plane, which we do, the normal vector just comes from its coefficients. That's the coefficients of the plane. To get my projection of k onto my normal vector, we just use that dot product, 1, 1, 1, dot that with 1, 0, 1, divided by the normal vector, the max of normal vector squared, times the normal vector itself. And if you dot the products here, we get this becomes 1 plus 0 plus 1 over the square root of 2 squared times 1, 0, 1. Now I promise you this doesn't always occur. This becomes 2 over 2, 1, 0, 1, which is just, I don't know, 1, 0, 1, right? So there is our projection. Now remember, this is the projection of k onto n. So after we get this, our next step is to now subtract. So our next step is to now find the projection onto the plane. So let's go ahead and do that. The projection onto the plane itself. So to get that, remember we're going to use that vector addition. Um, the projection of u plus, well let me write, so let me use my little formula up here again. So the projection that we're looking for, that is represented by vector u, the projection is going plus the normal projection, which we just found, which is this 1, 0, 1, that's going to have to equal vector k, which we know is 1, 0, 1. So the projection that we're looking for, the projection onto the plane, is just going to equal, when I subtract these, I'm going to get 0, whoops, sorry, my, uh, this should be 1, 1, 1, sorry about that, that should be 1, 1, 1, it's just going to be 0, 1, 0. And that's going to be the projection onto the plane. In other words, that's the shadow of vector k onto the plane itself. The direction, and we got the magnitude, of course, is one pretty easy to do. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.